Hi everyone, this is Steve from Canary Labs. And today I'd like to show you how you can connect to Power BI and bring in some data uh, for some reporting and visual tools. Uh, so the first thing we want to check before we do that is uh, if you go to your views tile, go down configuration at the bottom, we want to make sure that the web API port is enabled. So we're going to make an anonymous connection um, review service over this port. Um, so that's good. You want to go to your access list next and verify if the anonymous logon is listed in the allow list. All right. So if both of those things are good, um, we should be able to open up Power BI and pull in some data. So bring that up here and go up and click get data and choose web as our data source. And I already have this uh, URL uh, copied to my clipboard. So I'll have that in the description if you want to use it. Uh, essentially, uh, we're just uh, pulling in two diagnostic tags from a local machine and looking at the previous seven days, uh, a one day average for each day. So if you want to use this, uh, I'll have that link in the description. Click OK. And RBI needs to think a little bit here as it brings in data. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do uh, is over here on the, the right, the applied steps. These are the transformations that Power BI has already automatically done for you. Um, what it thinks it needs to, to do to structure the, uh, the data. Um, but we're actually going to remove these last two. Just exit out right next to them. Okay. And then underneath the data column, click the record link, and we're going to convert this into a table. Okay, So there are my two tags that I'm pulling in. Next, we're going to expand to new rows. Okay, And then we're going to do that process one more time. And so we got a timestamp and a value. Okay. All right. So now uh, what we want to do, we're going to change the, the data type for each of these. So if you right click on the header, you can change type. And we're going to select date, time, time zone for our timestamp. And then for value, we're going to make that a decimal number. Okay. And so that's all the transformations we're going to make. Uh, for this table. So um, you could, if you wanted to, you could edit these headers if you wanted to uh, rename them. Um, but for our purposes, that, that'll work just fine. So go up to close and apply. Okay, and now here's our um, reporting editor in Power BI. And so for this, uh, we're going to create a bar chart. So we'll select that and we'll expand it. Okay. Now you want to expand the table over here on the right. And so here's our three variables. And so we're going to click and drag name that will go for the legend field. Here's our timestamps. So that's going to be our X axis. And then the values down the value field. Okay. So right now it's just showing one year. Um, you know, that that average for the for the year. So if I click on this down arrow, I'm just going to select value.t. And there you go. So that's the previous seven days um, for each of those tags. If you wanted to, so if you want to do like a line chart instead of, I just go over here, click line chart and that will convert that. There you go. It's as simple as that. So um, thanks for watching and hopefully that was helpful for you.